This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. My name is Jovan and I'm the administrator of the Sims community website. And in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing all the cool things that you can do with the new platforms feature that is coming with the upcoming update for the Sims 4 base game on PC, Mac and consoles. So before I dive deeper into the platforms, I just wanna mention that this update should be releasing in the week of the release of the Sims 4 Snowy Escape expansion pack which is all happening on November 13th so this is not an official confirmation but I'm just following the patterns um, that happened before with the pre-expansion pack patches and the expansion pack releases so all of those happened in the week of the release of an expansion pack and I think that it should be no difference um, with this expansion pack release and the upcoming update release as well uh, so in my previous video for the Sims 4's upcoming update I talked a little bit about platforms and all the things that you can do with them but I feel like I haven't covered all of the possibilities that you can have with platforms and how they look like in live mode and you know how it, how it looks like to actually build um, with the platforms and how the lightning corresponds and how the sims react so all of this will be tested out in this video so over here you're gonna notice a brand new tool called the platform tool so th there are multiple ways that you can place down platforms with the platform tool you're gonna be able to drag it out like this and just place it down uh, over here here you have a diagonal square platform uh, so which has been pre-built uh, after you place it down you can drag it like this just like you can do with the walls and foundations too um, so over here you have the octagonal platform then you have a regular square platform as well and then there's the triangular platform and the l-shaped platform and last but not least we also have rounded platforms so there are three different sizes including the small one the extra large and the extra extra large one uh, and uh, one thing that I have to mention regarding placing down rounded platforms one on top of another is the fact that they probably won't look the best if you place them on these corners like this so if you hover over the rounded platforms and uh, you're gonna get this highlighted area and if you have a platform uh, down below in this highlighted area then it probably won't look too good and it will probably clip like this so just make sure that you possibly don't have anything below the platforms that might uh, cause a clipping issue like this um, but otherwise you will probably be just fine uh, now what can you do with platforms what are all the possibilities out there how you can build the platforms and all of that well I'm here to answer all of your questions now let's make this a little bit bigger so I can showcase it properly um, the first thing that I want to talk about is the ability to stack platforms one on top of another so you can make really cool entrances like this and make it accessible by raising each level by one step so sims will actually be able to access this area naturally without using any staircase another cool thing is that platforms can be raised up to the maximum wall height so if i chose the tallest wall level then i am going to be able to maximize it out like this and just fill out those empty areas like that um, so you're also going to be able to have this area accessible by staircase because you know sims won't be able to naturally just access on top of this platform now if you can put the staircase down like this and you're probably gonna be able to toss and turn and configure the staircases another cool thing is that I was able to place down uh, the staircase on top of this platform so something like this is gonna allow for a lot of creativity and playing uh, for the build mode community which I'm really excited to see the results of it uh, you know personally uh, this doesn't look like a masterpiece uh, from my end but you know I'm just showcasing all of the possibilities so the thing that I forgot to mention in my update overview video is the ability to sunken the platforms down. Now let's choose the smallest wall uh, height possible and go all the way down. W what is really interesting about these platforms is that they don't really care about what's around them. They won't cause any issues whatsoever if they have other heightened platforms or maybe other walls or areas or rooms around them. So you're going to be able to raise down um, the platforms and sunk it down like this. Uh 
it, yeah, this isn't properly showcased, so let, let me just extend it like that. Uh, as you can see more properly, you're going to be able to have this area accessible by, once again, placing down the staircase, or if you possibly want, you can also choose to create uh, platforms and stack them one on top of another. Now, this isn't really possible because I'm out of tiles, uh, so you can make it a bit more accessible or even choose, you know, to decorate the area. Now, I know that you're probably also wondering, what about pools? Can you place down the pools on top of these platforms? And I'm sorry to inform you, but no, you won't be able to place down the pools under platforms or even on the sunken platform so that won't be a possibility as long as the platform is on the top so the ability to place down pools of course is still an option and you can still place them down on raised foundations so nothing like that has been changed or removed it's just that you won't be able to place pools on top of platforms I know that is really unfortunate but hopefully they maybe add a change or an update in you know in the coming months because that would be really cool uh, now, if, if you want to, you know, make this sp uh, space a little bit more interactable, you can of course do so with the staircase. Once again, I'm not too good at this, I'm just showcasing all of the possibilities. If I were maybe to raise this area with a foundation, so of course you can choose to automatically raise up an area uh, with a foundation like this, so it's gonna make the entire area heightened like that. Uh, you won't have to, you know, remove the platforms in order to raise up the foundation. You can ju just do so with this arrow over here. Just make sure that you don't confuse this with the raise and lower down the platforms tool that you have by clicking over here. So if I was maybe to place down the pools like this, it still wouldn't be possible. So the best way to play with pools and place them down on raised levels is to just place them down on top of the raised uh, foundations and not platforms. So of course, you're going to be able to decorate your pool area um, by building platforms around the tool so that that's still pretty much possible as you can see over here you can even place down a platform right next to the pool so that wouldn't be an issue but of course if you were to maybe go up against it or you know try to extend it to that area it wouldn't be possible because you know the pool still exists out there by clicking on the corners of a platform that you've already placed down you have an option to build automatically a full wall a half wall or just a fence um, um, so you can do that for all of the areas over here and if you want to make it an enclosed space you can just build a full wall like this and you know separate this area with a full wall and now we have a full on room with a pre-built foundation now of course we don't have a ceiling just yet but we can fix that easily with this ability now when it comes to the indoors area you're probably wondering what does it take to create a split leveled space and I'm here to answer all of those questions now let's place down the these lights over here so that the room can be properly lightened up now we already have a platform available over here so let's just make it flat like this until I separate the rooms a little bit more now previously before the update uh, people would usually choose to split level um, the rooms by just removing the foundations uh, so that would have been usually done by separating a room like this and selecting this area and choosing to remove the entire floor like this now, in theory, that looked really cool, but it created a lot of issues when it came to lightning indoors and everything like that. And, it, you know, managing spaces with split-leveled um, rooms that have been built using foundations just wasn't the best options. Of course, you were able to, you know, make an area accessible using the staircases and everything and, you know, furnish it. But this area over here where we removed the foundation was still treated... Um, as an outdoor space so that also caused some lightning issues and you know once again it was really good in theory but it wasn't really practical now with the upcoming platforms tool you're going to be able to split level without any issues whatsoever so let's say that you want to make this 
place a little bit sunken down deep into the ground. Uh, so let's say like this. Uh, as you can see, it goes against the foundation and it goes way down below after the foundation has been placed down. So like this. And let's say that you want this area leveled up. You're going to be able to do so. And this space is still going to be treated as a full on indoor space without any indoor lightning imperfections, which is really cool. So you'll then be able to, you know, make this area a little bit more properly accessible like this and uh, also choose where you want to place down the staircase and make this room fully accessible. Now when it comes to indoor decoration you already have a lot of tools available so if you want to decorate the interior trims of a platform you're going to be able to do so with the ones that have been already selected over here so you won't be able to choose uh, the wallpapers that we currently have um, for the walls so those are not accessible for the platform trims. Uh, however, the Sims team did include a lot of different color variants for each and every option that there is, especially for the stone and brick ones, which is really cool. They have a lot of options for the tiles accessible as well. And, uh, you know, especially the wooden tones, you know, there's a lot of tones that they have made available like this over here. So, you know, just use shift if you want to cover the entire platforms area. And there you go. Of course, the upper area can be covered completely um, in wallpapers if you want to do so. So let's say that we want to make this area bricked out like this. You can definitely do that. Even though this color combination reminds me of that specific Windows 98 um, screensaver. Uh, so yes, you know, just ignore this. But yeah, you're going to be able to decorate the trims like this. Luckily for you, you're still going to be able to access a lot of new wall heights that are coming with the upcoming update. And you're definitely going to be able to apply all of the wallpapers onto these half walls which is really cool and one last thing i want to talk about when it comes to platforms is the ability to roof your house uh using just platforms i know right so you can place them on top of your home like this and basically they're gonna fit in just fine like that and so you're gonna be able to raise up the platform like this or choose to sunk it down to the lowest level uh now the most practical way of building a minimalistic roof is maybe to raise it up by three or four bars and also you're going to be able to place down the half walls like that so this is the same height as the platform is meaning that the entire roof trim will be able to be redesigned using just wallpapers because once again you can't apply wallpapers on half walls if you don't like any of the platform trims you're going to be able to place down any wallpapers of your choice like this you'll of course be able to redesign the half wall trims like this if you don't like the current preset and uh, I've, I'm really excited for all the builders out there who are gonna go just crazy with these tools. In the limb mode you're gonna notice that sims will normally interact with each other when they're close together and you know one is on a different platform level than the other sim so all of that will be completely uninterrupted and sims will be able to socialize normally. If for example you have a living room area over over here and you have a sim who's cooking something over here they're still going to be able to socialize normally without any issues and this also opens up the possibility of creating actual stages where sims will actually pay attention um, to your sim without any interruptions or you know maybe trying to access the podium so they can uh, watch the performances so yeah guys let me know what you think about all of the possibilities that there are with the brand new platforms feature if you enjoyed this detail detailed walkthrough of the new feature, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel for all the latest news and updates on the Sims franchise. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!